Hi there everybody, not Sporvat here, and welcome to a mission. And today we're gonna go over uh, the in-game menu. So we might as well get started on it. Just select your in-game menu here. Now, first tab on the top is inventory. And then we can sort our inventory here. So if you wanna sort by guns, by melee weapons, ammunition, traps, and ingredients. And of course, just like in the normal uh, menu, your uh, home base menu or whatever, main menu, I guess that's the one. You can also craft these here. You can craft ammo if needed. You can sort stuff if you want. Inspect things as well. Because you can't inspect wood. I guess you can only inspect certain things. And then of course you have crafting options just like always. Same with your traps. If you want to craft them anywhere you want, you can do so. Craft however many you want. Or just one. And I think that's it check your stats if you want and what it also takes to craft them and it will tell you where they what the crafting uh, material is and then where you find it same with this one and I do believe that will be it for this tab and then in the loadout tab we will have our hero here and with your commander perk and your team perk and then your two whatever you call these I guess bonuses abilities not that they can't be an ability but whatever you call these things anyway and then your um, these are your abilities and then it will tell you your support team and it can, each one gives a little brief description just in case you don't know what they're doing, and then your Adrenaline Rush and Hover Turrets. Your two uh, gadgets down here. You can also check your stats in Mission. And if you've hit a uh, statistic cap, it will show you which ones you have. And save over here as well. Let's see that our uh, <clears throat> Fort stats are restricted here. We're at Plankerton today. And I think that's it on this screen. And then we go through objectives, which will be basically it'll tell you what your mission is up here. And the power level of the mission. Even the day you're on. And if you can apply defenders, it will tell you. And then it says your active modifiers, which is just a mini boss. And your objective, what you're supposed to do is find the Atlas. You have two days left for the speedrun badge. And then, of course, these are my just main quests. And this is a daily of mine. It's pinned so that you can see it here. And then badges will be whatever badges you can earn throughout the mission. Uh, this one, no rebuilding, two days or less. And one on the first try. There's also a survivor badge, I believe, exploration badge. There's, there's a few. And then of course your combat and building and utility badge. You can get bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. And then just, just this tells you your scores across the way, how you're doing. And up here as well. And the last one is mission. And it tells you mission objectives find the target, place the atlas, and then fortify and defend. And then our mission rewards down here will be 30 V-Bucks, some hero experience, some candy, survivor experience, lightning in a bottle, and gold. And this is the storm alert part, and this would be the regular um, 
rewards. And lastly, of course, quests. And it's the same as in your main menu with your quest log. And you can pin and unpin quests here. So if you wanted to come in here and unpin this one, you can. And say you want to do this one instead, and you can pin it. And now, I do believe that is actually everything in the mission. If you hit the, and for me it is escape button, will bring you up this menu. Same as in the main menu, I believe you can bring this one up. You can report somebody or give feedback. You cannot change your game privacy. See, only in your main menu, not while you're in mission. You can do boosts, so if you want to use an XP boost, you can. And it tells you your commander level upcoming rewards. And I still don't know what this is for. And then, of course, the help button and the leave mission button. And then your friends over here, and then plus will take you to your friends menu, or social menu, I guess you should say. And if you wanted to invite somebody, you could invite someone. And I think that should cover everything. I mean, you can go in your settings in here as well. Power level is up top. Um, I guess I could go a little bit through some uh, abilities and stuff. So in the very bottom left corner, you will see the blue bar is my shield, the green is my health, and the orange is energy. So if this guy decides he wants to hit me, see my shield go down. Here, we'll take care of these guys. dozen batteries. Well that's a bonus. Alright, so then down beside those three bars you'll see the uh, your two gadgets. So one of them. And there's got to be a husk around here somewhere. Oh yeah, here we go. And of course the second one is uh, turrets. And then the bottom right hand corner. You guys done yet? No, not done yet. So in the bottom right corner, you will see, I guess I'll start on the left side. Shows you how much ammunition you have. So how many shots you have left in your weapon. You can see it goes down. And if you reload, it's also an indicator in the very center of the screen. When you shoot your weapon, it shows up in a few seconds. And then when you reload, you see it fill back up. And then the, the square box in the middle with the dot in the center will be your spread on your weapon. So basically, if you hit anything inside that square, it's going to damage it. And when you aim down the sights, it, might, it gets a little bit tighter. So, and then, of course, we have our weapons. One, two, and three. And then we have our abilities. Find some more husks. But don't think there's any over here, because I killed them all already. Kind of went the wrong way. Guess we could pick this up. I know I saw another encampment here somewhere. Oh. 
so we have Dragon Slash. Tell your friends. And we have some throwing stars. And lastly, we have smoke bomb. And then directly above that, we have our uh, button and little indicator for the hoverboard in the build menu. And if you have the hoverboard, you just hold down the button that it takes to pull out your build menu. And there's your hoverboard. I have to put it away. Just touch it again. And if you just touch the build menu, you'll have your build menu. So walls, floors, stairs, and uh, cones. And then of course traps. And each one has its own corresponding quick button. Like if you were just running around with a gun out or something and you press the Y button, which is trap, it would take you to your traps. And you also have a trap wheel, it's called I guess kind of. So it says where it says here, equip floor trap. So if you come over here, press the F3 button for me, and then it would show you all the corresponding traps to be placed on floors. Now if you were to place a wall and a ceiling, you could do the same here. So any wall traps you have, and any ceiling traps you have. And you just gotta click on it once and it would let you place it. And then we have an edit button. If you wanna make edits, make your floor different shapes, pretty much do anything. Walls is a little more interesting. There's quite a quite a few uh, edits you can do. Medium and short walls. Corner wall. Pillar wall. Or you could go with a uh, corner wall again. Then you can go like that, I think, for a doorway. And. You put one in the middle, I believe, and on the. Opposite side. Mm, what else is there? Of course, there's doors. But there is also windows. You could do doubles. The one in the middle for a single. You could do an archway. Uh, triangles. Basically, uh, any kind of triangle, top or bottom, either corner. And ceilings and floors would basically be the same edits. Um, you can also, with a floor, you can also edit it like this, which is kind of nice if you have a trap tunnel. Oh. Drop the atlas on the target really? when you're ready. Then you oops, I did that one the wrong way. Bonus challenge is now available. There we go. Then you could actually path them this way and this way. Like this. And they have that little extra they gotta walk. But that's only if you don't use floor traps. Because if you want to place a floor trap, you can only place them on floors. You can't place anything on there. And then, of course, uh, wall traps. Oh. Oh, we should line up the propane guy, too. Get them all in one shot. And another. Maybe I'll find my arcade machine. Oh, better 
take care of him. So now wall traps, you can edit your wall like this. And you can also edit the wall like this and place traps. <coughs> Pardon me. Sorry about that. So if you edit a wall like this, it's called a fence. And uh, wall spikes and then wall dynamos would be able to be placed on here. And you can place a wall dynamo on a windowed wall. You can place a sound wall on a windowed wall like this. Uh, you could put a wall spikes, I believe, as well. I've never tried it, but the medium wall, I imagine you could put wall spikes on. Yeah, and probably a wall dynamo too. I don't know about the uh, double window. Oh yeah, you can. Hmm. All right, well that's good to know because if you can't place it, it'll turn red. Eh? Like if I was to edit a door, it wouldn't let me place a C. Edit it into a window, and you can. So hopefully that's. Uh, I think that should be everything. Oh yes. And when you're building, build. just select any any of the four pieces, and you use a, for me it's the same, it's my aim button, to switch between wood, brick, and metal. And when you're on your traps, you can also right click, or aim click, whichever, to select different wall traps. Or you can switch to a floor trap. And where's my ceiling? I must have broken my ceiling. And same here. Right click, and there we go. So, oh look, we have somebody joined. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.